Bruce Wayne has recently overcome the effects of the fear toxin, and it is Alfred who wakes him up from his slumber. As Bruce gets up, he meets up with Julia, and they start discussing their plans while joking around. However, something catches Julia's attention, and they notice that something or someone is approaching them. Out of nowhere, Wonder Woman dramatically crashes through the window, swooping in and grabbing Bruce with one hand, lifting him high above the city. In a split second, Bruce's instincts kick in, and he quickly attaches some devices to Wonder Woman's temples, causing her to lose her grip on him. Bruce tumbles down onto a tree in Robinson Park, confused and desperate for answers. Bruce demands an explanation from Wonder Woman in a surprisingly calm manner. Diana reveals that she, along with the rest of the League, has come to kill him. Worried, Bruce calls out to Alfred and Julia, urging them to initiate Plan Fenrir. Suddenly, clouds of gas are pumped up through the sewer grates, blanketing an area of nearly 10 square blocks. The citizens swiftly begin evacuating the vicinity, fearing a chemical attack. However, unbeknownst to them, the gas is completely harmless. It is actually Bruce's plan to create a safe zone where he can confront more dangerous threats without endangering any innocent lives. Equipped with one of his powerful robotic bat suits, he demands to know what or who has caused Diana to behave this way. Diana simply responds with hatred towards him, declaring that this is the end for him. Holding her sword, Diana warns that no armor could withstand the truth she would deliver through her weapon. In a swift motion, she cuts off his hand and thrusts the tip of her sword through his chest. Batman knows that the only way to defeat a warrior of truth would be with a lie. After nearly two years of searching, Bruce finally finds a magical artifact called the Bind of Veils. Bruce integrates the artifact into his suit, allowing him to successfully deceive Diana into thinking she had killed him. The suit isn't just armor. It is specifically designed for war with the most powerful heroes on the planet. The Flash zooms past him with super speed. Bruce has invested a significant amount of money into an armor, and a large chunk of that funding is dedicated to ensuring that the computers are super fast, capable of outthinking even the fastest man alive. This pays off when the suit sprays a frictionless coating on the street ahead, causing the Flash to zoom right past him and crash into a nearby building. Next up is Aquaman. Bruce quickly immobilizes him using a fast-hardening polymer. Julia warns Bruce that something big is coming. Suddenly, Superman crashes down on him, causing damage to his armor. Batman crashes through the building, and Superman slowly descends towards him. Bruce desperately begs to know who is behind this attack. With a wicked grin, Superman replies that it's actually sort of funny. Filled with dread, Batman instantly realizes that it is the Joker who is targeting him. Superman, affected by Joker Venom, is about to crush Batman. Batman tries to talk to Superman, but he is not listening. Realizing that he won't be able to reason with him, Batman prepares himself for a fight. Luckily, Dr. Ray Palmer has provided Bruce with a solution. He has created miniature red suns from dead solar systems and embedded them into Batman's suit. This gives Batman an advantage in his attempt to save his friend from the Joker's influence. Batman punches Superman into the air. Superman asks Batman who wins in the fight, Batman or Superman. Superman unleashes his heat vision. However, Batman uses his plasma shields to deflect the attack. Batman has prepared for every possible scenario, including countering Superman's freeze breath. Superman, seeing that Batman has prepared for all his possible attacks, decides to attack the building behind him instead. Bruce forgot that the suit was designed for battling Superman. Superman has his own set of limits, lines he would never cross. This toxin has transformed him into something entirely different. If he wants to kill you, there's probably nothing on Earth that can stop it. The building then collapses on top of Batman, showing that Superman's boundaries have been erased by the toxin. Superman lifts Batman out of the rubble and carries him high above Gotham. He starts tearing off Batman's suit piece by piece. In a desperate attempt... Batman pleads with Clark to listen to him and tells him that this isn't him. But all Superman can do is laugh uncontrollably. He manages to convey a message to Batman, and that message was big. In response, Batman spits in Superman's eye. Unbeknownst to Superman, Batman's spit contains a synthetic polymer laced with kryptonite dust, a kryptonite gum. As Superman starts losing consciousness, they both plummet into the ocean. Batman thinks to himself, who wins in a fight? The answer is always the same, neither of us.